lovelies and welcome to another video today's one is filmed in a completely different environment we are in my hotel in paris i'm actually leaving today and i really wanted to film this video because if i don't film it today <laughs> i really enjoy filming the unboxing videos in my home but there was no opportunity to do that because i'm not sure when exactly i'll be able to film this video and i wanted to kind of have it out there for you as soon as possible so if you are new to my channel my name is tamara and i like to film videos about fashion beauty lifestyle that's kind of like the three main topics i would say i'm very much into luxury but not just like you know like kind of to throw it out there more because i really enjoy beautiful craftsmanship fashion the history of it all and the beauty behind the big fashion houses of course my phone is ringing now that's basically another thing you should know about me Hello. it was concierge to tell me that i forgot my electronic cigarettes in taxi and i don't even smoke and i did not even take a taxi today so yeah i am in paris as you guys know for fashion week i have been doing fashion weeks now for six weeks i started with Men's Fashion Week Paris, Art Couture, Copenhagen Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week. Finally, it's over and I can go home, sleep and enjoy a lot of beautiful items that I have actually acquired during this six-week journey. But, oh, I have the biggest ever, ever Hermes unboxing. I don't know if we're ready. There's a lot inside and I totally went crazy. So, my last day in Milan, I started applying for Hermes appointments because I was like, I need to get one. Like, full stop. I need to get an Hermes appointment. I really wanted a new bag and I was very particular and I knew that if I do get an appointment, the chances are pretty good I will get it. I started applying and I got, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. And I think third or fourth appointment I got, we're happy to let you know that you have landed an appointment. I was obviously very excited and I did a lot of research in terms of what I wanted and I can pretty much say that I got what I wanted. I'm gonna start by the bigger item. I got my appointment confirmed. It was like at 3 p.m. and when I was doing like shows that day, when I finished I went to Hermes. Now we're heading for an appointment at Hermes. This is always the most exciting time and the most nerve-wracking as well. There's so many options that I want that I'm very, very happy and very grateful. I met my preferred sales associate and she was super wonderful, like really wonderful. And she asked me what would I like. So if you remember my video in December when I got my Birkin 35, I told you that originally I wanted maybe a mini Kelly or maybe a Birkin 30 or maybe a Kelly 25, something along those lines because I want them all. So in which order do I get them? So, the first item that I will unbox is in this beautiful orange beauty here. I love this feeling of unboxing an Hermes item. I kind of also don't want to give you too much information about what's inside because you'll have to see. Two handles. It's a very rare, very rare Birkin 30. In color cray it's not white it's kind of like a beigey color but the light from the window comes pretty strong so i'm not sure if you can tell but it's beigey gray color with golden hardware and this is the twilly i went for it's like pink with a bit of leopard and it has pink gold it's very rare it's also in uh, epsom leather which is the per first birkin that i have now in epsom leather i think the epsom leather birkin looks a little bit larger than it does when it's togo let's do a little comparison to the 25 so this is my birkin 25 and this is my birkin 30. i think with this one it's going to be very nice that it's quite sturdy and this is going to be so perfect for the summer months i'm very very excited to be carrying this bag and I wanted like a beige or a white or like something along those lines. I asked for the yellow gold, but the pink gold goes really well with my jewelry and will go really well with my other pieces and watches. And when the lady brought it over, I was like, wow, 
I really really love this bag and I had such a good feeling like I'll be getting something like amazing and I'm very very excited for this piece it's also really nice because you can change your twillies and kind of change the color a little bit with it you know it can be green or red or navy or whatever and that kind of adds a completely different vibe to a bag of this color so I'm very excited and very happy with that so all the details that you need is that that's a Birkin 30 in Epsom leather uh, rose gold hardware and the color is cre. The twilly that I got is limited edition, hardened twilly. So if you really like the twilly, you can get that now. And then when I said like I really love it and I would like to get it, she was like, no, but take some time to think. And also I have a surprise for you. So at uh, Paris Boutique in Saint Honoré, which is like their flagship store, Hermes, they actually have a rule which is that you can get two bags per year so there's like a quota and they checked when was i last in the boutique so they said okay in in paris i got my last bag in july so she was like it's absolutely fine you can get your uh, next one we can go and check for you i was very very excited but then she said i have a surprise for you i brought something else and you might not like it she was like i've been following your work and i know you're very much into fashion and the pieces that you want are very like rare or fashionable or a little bit different they're not like uh i mean they these bags are classic but they're not very like typical I guess she said I brought something and I it's like a surprise so you can have both if you want and if you can afford and she's like but I'll just show it to you anyway because it just arrived this morning we didn't have it yesterday a lot of people asked for it and she opened it from the cellophane you know when they just arrived oh they have they changed the ribbon she showed me this piece and when I tried it on I was like oh god oh god what do I do now I already have this bag in a different color and a different leather and a different hardware but this time, it's a purple suede Constance. Like purple, I guess, is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea because you always have to kind of like cut it so that it looks like, you know, unique. But I think this is so fashionable. With Hermes bags, sometimes they can be a little bit too about luxury and not enough about like, you know, I like the fashionable bags as well. But I think this is so cool, like with jeans, like maybe even flare jeans with like a crop top, like look at this purple with a navy blazer, with like color blocking, like, you know, with orange and turquoise. And I, when I saw this bag, I was like, I don't know how can I leave without this. So, especially so because it's rare and because it's also like a beautiful purple color that I don't have any bags in this color, none, zero. It's kind of like popular uh, color for Bottegas at the moment, but like I don't have any bags in this purple and I think the suede is so stunning. I decided to go for it. It's the smaller Constance. Uh, it has two compartments inside, which you guys already know. It has a little pocket at the back. Inside it's a smooth leather, like very smooth. Also um, suede at the top and it has silver hardware. It still has the plastic key protection on. I really thought that there is space in my wardrobe for something like this. Do you know what? Like summer is coming, but also this kind of bag I really can wear during winter months too because of the specific color. It's the color of the season, I would also say, but it's also such a classic. Now, I never really go for suede bags and I'm very curious to see how I will wear this. So let's learn something together if I actually do make a lot of use out of it because I do wear my other constants quite a lot specifically during summer months when I don't need many things I remember one specific summer I wore it so much that I was almost a little bit embarrassed because I wore it pretty much every day and it just goes with everything you know if you wear a white dress like turquoise like sandals and a purple constants how cute is that or if you're tanned and you know like well one can dream right that is what I scored. I feel like that Hermes in Paris at the moment has a lot of things uh, like stock so if you're interested I think the good time would be now. I also think that it the like business has been a little bit affected by the coronavirus as there are not as many tourists from anywhere really. Like a lot of my friends from Italy for example cancelled their trip to Paris. A lot of uh, people from Asia didn't come. For that reason I would I would think that there is a lot more stock that's just kind of methodical thinking. I think that for that reason I was offered two bags instead of one. I was offered like
like a few like little other things as well that I, they were not really like something that I wanted. I just thought that this is something that would really complete my Hermes cravings for a little bit and it's my birthday in two weeks so I thought one of these is a present for me to me for my birthday. Let's say the Birkin. That's just the way I'm thinking at the moment. So if you are interested in Hermes, in luxury, in beautiful pieces, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any particular things that you would like to um, ask. I always make sure to respond to all of your comments. And uh, yeah, go and check out my Instagram as well because over there you will see how I style these bags. I would absolutely love to share that with you. See you soon, guys. Bye!